Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Nerd Alert. I'm here today with Professor Guy reporting to us about his latest lab we were back from our commercial. For those who missed out Professor was just telling us about his lab. Hello. All right. So let's start where we left off. How were your Galleria exposed to your different solutions? It was actually a simple project. I put three Galleria in a Petri dish with a wet paper towel and I set some white traps. I see. So what were you hoping to find? I was looking for nematodes. HM, so what happened to the, to the Galleria that were exposed to solutions A, B and C? In solution but they had lived and remained unaffected. The Galleria in A and C were not so fortunate and died. In A they changed color to a reddish brown color. In C they were a tan color. Now how did you gather the evidence to confirm the presence of a killer? The color change and their death was a huge piece of evidence. Also the white traps. And the dissection of the Galleria and putting it under a microscope I could see them. By them of course I mean the nematodes. I see, so tell us a bit about nematodes. Well you can clearly tell that they are parasites. There are many examples of symbiosis between the hosts, the nematodes, and the bacteria they carry. Like their commensalism relationship when the parasite enters the host and the host cannot tell and is very much affected. This could also be considered parasitism since the nematode feasts on the inside of the host. A mutualistic example is when the bacteria enter a human, they have enzymes that help them feed on leftover human waste. There are many others about predation or competition. Very interesting. Yes, and there are also heterotropes which are organisms that take from others to feed themselves. An autotroph in the food chain of the lab was the bark that the Galleria had lived in, it was able to convert light energy to chemical energy. The nematodes that entered had bacteria, these bacteria use the transfer of energy to take energy from the Galleria. We're learning so much today. Do nematodes have a certain job or specific niche in the environment? Well there are so many types that I cannot specifically say what their niche is but the ones I observed can kill pests such as out Galleria. They help out when we grow crops and are almost as effective as chemical pesticides. They also have many habitats. They live almost everywhere. What a very interesting food web consisting of nematodes. They were very boring to study but if you're able to get into it it's pretty interesting. Wow, I didn't know that they had such an important role in our environment. Yes, they're very interesting creatures. Gee we learned a lot today. Unfortunately we're out of time. Check out our website for new updates on chemical energy and light energy and the transfer of energy. This has been Reporter Awesomeness on Nerd Alert. Tune in next time.